in this highlighting shorts i am going to tell you about central pontine myelinosis which was inicg question previous year right so what is central pontine myelosis myelinolysis see the name itself is telling it is the pons which will be affected and what will happen here myelin will be lysed or myelin will be damaged what will be the reason for this myelin damage because of the osmotic concentration of the sodium most commonly that is why it is also known as osmotic demyelination syndrome right so what is this uh, central pontine myelinolysis or osmotic demyelination syndrome this is a acute disorder where as i said where you will find loss of myelin and this loss of myelin will be seen mostly at the base of pons and pontine tegmentum area right and this loss will be symmetrical in pattern right and this event will occur this event will occur after 2 to 6 days why because of rapid over correction of hyponatremia so what we need to remember after 2 to 6 days when you have done rapid over correction of the hyponatremia there will be a osmotic damage of the myelin sheath in the pons and pontine tegmentum right but here what we need to remember that it is not only with the sodium it may be associated with other electrolytes also like a hypokalemia and it can be also associated with chronic alcoholism what happens here in the pathogenesis you will see the rapid correction which will cause rapid increase in osmolality and that will cause damage of the oligodendrocytes so now you understood because you are doing the rapid over correction of the sodium which will cause increase in the osmolality and that will cause the damage of the oligodendrocyte and that is how you will see the damage of the myelin but in this lesion characteristically you will find there will be no inflammation so inflammation will be absent and in neurons and axons are relatively preserved what will be the clinical finding in this patient classically they will be presenting with rapidly progressive spastic quadriplegia remember this is a very important point classically they will be presenting with rapidly progressive spastic quadriplegia and they may have long term deficit also and that long term deficit will be known as logged in syndrome that is called as logged in syndrome where patients are fully conscious but not responsive right so this is the important point so remember progressive spastic quadriplegia and that can be fatal also for this patient long term sequelae is logged in because of they will be fully conscious but they will be not non responding and this is a picture of the this is a picture of the special stain called as luxol fast blue stain this is the special stain for the neurons or myelin so basically it is for myelin sheath right so when you will see the myelin is present normal area of the myelin will be looking blue in color so this is the normal area of the myelin right but when you will look at the area of the damage so this is the area of the damage so this is called loss of myelin fiber so here we can see that there is a loss of myelin fiber right so now you can see this area is the loss of myelin fiber which i am drawing here right which is looking pale blue color right so how you will identify it will be pale blue in appearance normal area will be dark blue in appearance dark blue area means they are having myelin so myelin is present and in this pale area what you will understand there is a loss of myelin so this is the area right so this is the central pontine myelinosis where we are seeing loss of myelinated fiber where it is the basis pontus in the brain stem and this staining is called as luxol fast blue stain so keep revising stay tuned and watch my all other hys which are 117 because many questions are going to be asked in your inicct exam